All right, guys, SHOT Show day three, last day of the show. We're gonna go see what we can find. We've missed a few things here and there, but I got it mapped out a little bit, so we're gonna go hit some more places. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Now let's jump into it. Before we get into this one, I wanted to let you guys know that new merchandise is up on the website. If you haven't seen us wearing it throughout the show, make sure you go check it out at holisticallychallenged.com. There's hoodies, t-shirts, all sorts of stuff, kid sizes. So make sure and go check that stuff out. That's also where I have all the links and everything in my build list for the products I use in the builds on this channel and companies that I'm talking to. I'll have links for all that stuff over there. So make sure you guys go check it out. Okay, so I'm here with Nick from Staccato. He's gonna kind of run us through changes for the new year and what they are offering for 2024. Yeah, thanks, Brian. So uh, if you guys are familiar with us in the CS, the new design, instead of doing like a nine and a 38 style magazine, we went with a dedicated nine mil ma magazine for the CS, um, external extractor and some other good components. Uh, new for 2024 is the C. The C is basically a four inch model of the CS. Um, the, the cool thing that uh, I think that we're kind of moving into is being able to change the grip. So now instead of having just a, a short uh, officer's carry 16 round magazine clip, we could do an 18 round magazine okay. um, with some of these. You still have the external extractor, have on the CS, the dedicated nine mil magazine that we have, um, some of the barrel uh, fluting that we do, and aluminum frame. So you have a four inch model of basically does everything kind of gun, not just concealed carry. You can do a concealed carry with this grip, or if you got the longer grip, then you can actually carry it on duty. A lot of departments wanted a four inch gun uh, for their police officers and their policies would only allow four inch and 3.9 is not four inches. Yeah. So um, no matter how you swing that. So what we did was created those things for everybody. We widened the frame a little bit on the on the CS and, and the C also has a little bit wider frame. Some of the other options that you can get um, now that are gonna be available summertime is some of the X series serrations. So these type of serrations on that we have on the XL are going to be available on the CS and the C. Um, and, and if you saw uh, someone posted online that we have a, a potential island barrel coming out for some of the smaller uh, guns oh, really? available. Yeah, something kind of cool. cool. Yeah. Are you guys going to be making a compensated version of the smaller So what gun? I can speak about is everything that we have out on the line. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I wish I could tell you everything gotcha. behind the curtain, but unfortunately what I got what we got to talk about is uh, all this. I hope that in the future we uh, can, we're always continuing to move forward, progress. Um, we listen to all of the feedback that we get from yeah. agencies and civilians, and we try to incorporate that as, as we move forward through the product line, so. And what is the, is this out right now? So it's gonna be out in uh, summertime, and then what we're gonna do, since it's uh, so close to um, the C2, we're gonna kind of assess every 90 days or every 120 days to see which one's selling more. So um, for all those people that, hey, I just ordered a C2, what am I gonna do about a C, should I wait? Well, if, this, if the C releases in summertime, if it's prepared for release in summertime, and you're still gonna have that 120 day wait period. So if you have a C2 on order, hold on to that order and get that um, because you might not receive a C on order when you order it. So if you order in June, it might be July, August when you receive it, so. And what's the price point on the C? $24.99. $24.99? Yes, sir. So we're right along the same avenue that we've been around there. Obviously, we have the Heroes discount. Um, so if you're active, prior, military, or LE, um, you can get those discounts. Um, just go to the website check it out okay super great another thing are you guys gonna be branching out into different calibers at all I get I get those questions a lot <laughs> yes uh, currently we are uh, nine mil only so yeah. um, everything that we do is all based off of nine millimeter stuff so uh, right now we are not looking into any other uh, calibers no. okay perfect well Nick I appreciate the time man thanks sir thanks it's been a pleasure so I'm here with Adam with Holliston Optics he's gonna go through the whole lineup of new stuff they got coming out for 2024 Adam, thanks for taking the time. Brian, always like having Blissfully Challenged in the booth. Thanks for coming by. Uh, so, first off, we'll start with what kind of set the, the internet ablaze recently was we took, we released that we're gonna have a thermal um, pistol sight. So this is our DPS or digital pistol sight. And it can, it you, works in conjunction with this guy, which is actually a thermal camera. Okay. It sends an image wirelessly to this guy and gives you a digital overlay of thermal on your pistol sight. Uh, it's also a white light, so you're not giving up anything. 
and this is also a standard red dot. So you work, they can be used independently of each other or together. Now the really cool thing with this is that it shows where the technology can go. Thermal right now is really big obviously, a lot of people have never gotten to use it, and so getting their chance to try this out is huge. And so there's no release date or price currently on this guy, but we're showing where our technology can go and where we take the next evolution of the red dot site. Okay. So that's this guy right here. Now, what is releasing or has already released? We have our DRS or digital rifle site. And this is the night vision and this is the thermal version. The night vision was is about a thousand dollar street price. It is shipping now. Thermal is about 1600 and it's shipping the next two to four weeks. They both come with digital zoom built in, really take photos and record video. Uh, they can be used independently as a, as a standard red dot, which is probably what they're gonna be used as most of the time. So that's just a standard red dot, like you use anywhere else. And then if you need that thermal, you need that night vision, you just power on up here and you're good to go. It does come with two 18 350 batteries mounted here in the side, QD style ratchet system to kind of remove them and put them back in. And uh, pretty everything else is, is similar to an Ames in terms of the optics, um, uh, plus and minus for the brightness and everything else on here. So again, these are uh, night vision shipping now, thermal shipping in two to four weeks, $1,000 and about $1,600. Uh, then we have next is the Holosun Iris. This is our new IR illuminator, IR laser and visual laser aiming module. What's really cool about this is it's very sleek compared to our other models, so it sits very low pro. But also what I'm most excited about is usually when you want to change how wide a field your IR illuminator is using, you gotta kinda come off the gun, mess with something back here, and then go back on. This now has a sliding switch, which does that. So you can stay on the gun and do that field yeah. switch. It's sturdy enough that you're not gonna accidentally go wide open or condense down, but it is also tactile enough that even with gloves, you can feel it click into place with each one you're going to. There's a, there's a physical click feel back. Um, so we have that. There is a override switch right here to fire it, just as you'd expect. On the rear side, you can see how kind of condensed and, and low pro this unit is. There's also a crane switch back here, a port, so you can run your crane switches through. Select your switch for which option you're gonna run this in. One CR123A battery uh, located here, and this will be $800 launching in Q2 of this year. Then we have the Hall of Sun RAID flashlight, which I'm really excited about, because obviously we tend to use white light more than probably anything else. Yeah. Uh, even though this stuff is cooler, white light is something you use a lot. This is our new RAID flashlight, 80,000 candela, 1,000 lumens, 18650 battery located in there. And you have a, a uh, magnetic charging port back here if you don't want to take the battery out, or you can take the battery out and charge it that way. Also in the bottom here, it comes with two mounts, both a Picatinny and an M-Lock, which I think is great, because usually you get one or the other, and then you have yeah. to spend the money to get the other one. This can be taken off, and it has scout mounting footprint, or you can take it off and use the handheld too. Then back here, you have two different end caps. One is like this, which is a uh, pressure pad for your thumb. There's also one with a crane port as well, so you can do that. And this is launching Q2 of this year, right around the $180 price point. That's not bad. No, it's gonna be for about $1,000, you can kind of own the night in terms of your rifle setup. Then we have our PIDK and PIDK Plus. The PIDK Plus, this guy right here, has a green laser built in the bottom of it. And the PIDK, this guy, is a standard white light. These are about 10,000 candela, 1,000 lumens. They're launching Q2 of this year for about $140 to $180 based on the model that you select. Next, we have a addition to the SCS line, the solar charging site. And this is a new addition to here. This is for the CZP10. So for those that don't know, the SCS line has no external battery. The battery is internal. And it is then charged via the solar panel on the back. These sit flush with the gun so that you're able to use your iron sights, your, your built-in iron sights with these optics. Um, so the really nice thing here is that it works with those irons, but you gotta make sure you buy the one for your gun. So if you're only a Glock MOS, you buy the MOS version. If you run a CZ P10, you buy the CZ P10 version. Uh, this is gonna be out in quarter two of this year. Uh, it's gonna be a great new addition for those that are running those CZ P10s. Then we have the SCS Carry, which is the enclosed version of the SCS. This sits on the Holosun K footprint, and it has built-in iron sights in the rear, so you can still have your iron sights if you need them. Uh, again, fully enclosed, no external battery, solar charger, charges up the internal battery, and even a couple hours of charge time gives you months of runtime. Uh, and then one button design, just like the SCS uh, that we saw at the CZP-10, does everything, turn it off to change your reticle. So that's the SCS carry. We then have a collab with Ronin Tactics. 
and so that's these guys right here. And so this is a, a, a standard EPS carry with the Ronin Tactics Dragon logo on top. And then we have our Hollow Sun Ames, but now this is the Hollow Sun Ames Max. And so you have the Ronin Tactics on the side here, you have the buttons for the increase, decrease brightness. You have the QD mounting system. And guys, this is a giant viewport. You can see everything through here. And I think we actually took a Tesla solar charger for a car and put it on top of here, because that's about the size of that thing. <laughs> this thing will charge anything. So that is the new Hollow Sun Ames Max. And then lastly here guys, we have the Hollow Sun 6X magnifier. So we've been in the 3X magnifier for a long time. We got, we finally got the 6X dialed in where we really want it to be, and so now we're offering a 6X magnifier. Still has our feeling really positive click over that you guys are used to. It's not gonna move there on its own. It's not gonna get bumped out of the side. And then a, a firm click into place there. Q2 of this year as well, guys. So hopefully you guys are excited to see what Holosun's launched this year at SHOT Show 2024. Make sure you ch watch Ballistically Challenge because they're the ones that bring you all this good content, guys. I have a couple questions before we go. What's up? The thermal ones over here yes. that you're talking about, how, do the, how does that light and the dot communicate with each other? So it's a wireless technology that we're using and those are able to send signals back and forth. Okay, so it's it's not like a Bluetooth? It's not, it's not right now it is not a Bluetooth connection, okay. no. Okay, and then on the weapon lights, I have the full-size PID mm -hmm. on, a, on a couple different guns. Um, are you guys working with holster manufacturers to kind of yeah, push so that along? We're hoping in the, next, in the next very short time frame to have a list of what holsters are gonna work. Obviously, most of your duty grade holsters, those work with a lot of different lights. But we're gonna work more to see what exactly that compatibility is so we can push that out as well so people know what holster to expect to use. Okay, perfect, because I know I've ran into that problem trying to find holsters for certain guys. Right and they're not making a holster for yep. your light, which I really like the light because of how it activates, how it looks, all that mm -hmm. stuff. And yeah, it's kind of a catch 22 on that. Yeah, we're definitely seeing more people adopt it and we're trying to push that out there. So hopefully we'll continue to see that adoption and hopefully we'll have more and more options available uh, for our users. Perfect. Well, Adam, I appreciate you right. taking the time. Thanks, Thanks again. show us some of the new stuff they got coming out this year. Yeah, uh, so we have our wall rack system. So pretty much the purpose of our wall rack system is to make it modular, right? So we have our J hooks, which you can use for pistols, rifles, but our six slot rifle rack uh, and our adjustable three slot rifle rack. Um, but a lot of our new products is specifically our mag holders and the little attachments for, you know, the Picatinny, uh, Safari Land holsters, things like that. We have our new table. Also our HAB rack that's integrated into our wall panels. So we also have our HAB rack, uh, tabletop HAB rack, but now we offer that same system to attach to our panels. Nice, so yeah. can you order this stuff piece by piece? Yes, sir. Customize it how you want it? Yes, definitely. Do you yeah. also have like kits together for? Uh, yeah, so we're working on putting uh, a whole kit together, but as of right now, uh, all these pieces will be available to purchase separately. We have a five panel kit and a 10 panel kit. So our 10 panel kit will come included with obviously 10 panels, the J hooks and the six slot, six slot rifle rack. Okay. Our five panel kit will come with five panels and our three slot rifle rack. Okay, yeah. how big are these panels? Yeah, I mean, I'll have to get the dimensions, oh, okay. but the dimensions are on our website. Okay. I don't know them off the top of my head, okay. but um, but I believe there are uh, 24 inches okay. per panel. Do they lock wide. together? Yes, they lock together. They come with a leveler, like a little bubble leveler. Uh, they lock together and you would just have to just run the screws down the side. So okay. pretty straightforward installation. Um, in instructions will come included. Yeah, that might be handy to get for my gun room. Yeah, That's yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is nice. perfect for uh, for every 
gun room. Um, we we get a lot of um, you know gun shops, you know, starting to you know use our wall racks. Yeah. You know. Cool. Well, what else you got? Want to look yeah. at some bags? Yeah. So uh, so this is our urban warfare line of uh, rifle bags. So we actually redesigned our urban warfare rifle cases yet again. So this is a, a, about the fourth iteration and updates that we've made. Uh, of this bag since we released it. So a lot of the key details is like the laser cut molly. We uh, pretty much changed the way that they were cut, reinforced them so you can really attach some heavy duty, uh, you know, pouches, things of that nature onto them. Uh, but one key detail is we actually changed the stitching on a lot of the pouches uh, and also the backpack straps as well. Um, but most importantly, we're coming out with cool new colorways. So uh, down this wall right here, we have chocolate chip, we have DNC camo, multicam black that will be coming out, and uh, also multicam arid and original multicam. And that's one thing kind of Savior is known for is the rigid bags, very right. sturdy, good stitching, all that stuff. Right. So when when can we expect all this stuff to be out? Yeah, uh, the multicam cases will be available in August. So mid to late August is what we're targeting for, um, along with uh, you know all of our new patterns that we're coming out with the specialist covert, the backpacks. So we're working really hard on stocking as much products yeah. as we can. Yeah. And what's the price point on these new bags? Yeah, so these ones we haven't really set the pricing on these yet because we redesigned them once again. So the camos. We anticipate them being, you know, still fairly affordable. We try to keep things at a, at a low price point. But I want to say anywhere between $200 to $250 for the multi-cam cases. Okay. Um, say, for example, a 36-inch or 42-inch in our regular colorways for the Urban Warfare or any of our double rifle cases will range anywhere from $70 to $100. So okay. still yeah. pretty affordable and the best bang for your buck. Perfect. So, um, so this is our, our uh, I would say our new product island, I should yeah. say, this year. So uh, the LRP specialist single rifle case is something that a lot of people have been waiting for. We redesigned uh, this bag to feature a scope cover, an integrated barrel cover. Okay. So it's like a one piece unit. New pouches, new system. So the tooling and manufacturing process of this bag is something that we have integrated uh, from our current line to our LRP. So this is the last, uh, the first update that we've ever done for this bag. So I know a lot of people have been asking when is it going to restock? They've been waiting for, I think, like over a year for really? this bag. So it's uh, going to be out around the same time, uh, around mid to late summer. Okay. Yeah. And how, how long is this one? Yeah, so we able? offer this in 47, 51, and 55 inches. Okay, so yeah. you can accommodate a pretty good sized gun. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any range bags or anything that you're coming out with this year? Yeah, so, um, so we can go down this way. So we have our, our specialist three gun range bag. So the difference about this is like, um, we're starting to release these in multi-cam. So before we would have them in our regular colors, black, only green, gray, FDE, red. And, uh, and I think there's like a teal exclusive colorway that we uh, partnered at, you know, with a, a special online retailer. Gotcha. Um, but this will come with three pistol sleeves, um, mag holders, storage pouches on the side and the multi-cam versions that we'll be releasing sometime around once again mid to late summer will feature weather resistant slippers okay yeah. cool well, i'm excited yeah. to try some of these out man i'm gonna have to get my hands on a couple yeah of yeah. yeah they're they're currently the regular colorways are sold out so at, at the moment they're they're very popular yeah um so we weren't anticipating that for the first quarter of 2024 but now we are working on restocking the regular colorways first and then we'll work towards the multicam uh, like I said during the mid to late summer. Okay. So we have our SEMA compact and our Pro SEMA. So the Pro SEMA is pretty much designed for like open guns, you know, very large guns with aggressive compensators. So that's like your pretty much if you're a pro shooter and you shoot yeah. competitively, that's the bag that you will go with. Uh, weather resistant zippers, uh, D rings to you know attach your belt, a full loadout of your ammunition, cleaning supplies, things of that nature. Uh, the this compact SEMA is the more um, I would say the budget friendly option. And this will once again be for like a regular range day, yeah. nothing too crazy. Still has a 600D material instead of the 1680 that's found in the Pro SEMA. Um, 
three individual pistol sleeves. These are the same sleeves that are found in our Specialist 3 gun range bag. And once again, the perfect loadout for a weekend or a day at yeah. the range. Yeah. It has pockets for cleaning stuff or tools or anything you can imagine you'd need. Yes, sir. And what what's the price point on these ones? Uh, we're targeting somewhere around like 100 to 150 bucks. Okay. Uh, that Pro SEMA is around 250. So okay. yeah, so depending on what you need, we, we now will have two options uh, for you to pick from. Perfect. Yeah. Please, yeah, appreciate no the problem, time, man. man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here with Tony from CNH Precision. If you guys have watched the channel for any length of time, you know they are my go-to optic plate. Uh, so Tony's going to show us a couple new products they got coming out this year. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. And uh, so a couple of things we got this year, we started diving back into rifle dots. I don't know if you know this, but CNH Precision used to be a precision rifle company. Okay. And we made custom rifles. Um, way before we ever got into adapter plates, which was interesting. Yeah. But we're kind of getting back to the roots with, so we started with optics, we did pistol optics because that's our bread and butter. Um, we're still continuing and improving on that line, especially this year, we got a couple things, but our biggest thing this year is these rifle dots. And so um, this is our ERD-1. Um, it's chunky like an EOTech kind of format. Um, however, it is not a hollow, it's just a regular red. Dot. But this is for people like like, you know, in PCC or people that are running like AR pistols, a little bit of running and gunning, something that you would want a really giant window in with all of the waterproofing, shockproofing, and the battery life of what you would find in any of our regular pistol red dots. Okay. And then over here we have a, I'm gonna let you take a look at this one. Um, this is an automatic dimming red dot. Okay. So this is gonna be our ERD2. It is obviously a much smaller form factor for people that want that um, and this one actually does tricks so if you take a look at that reticle if I run my finger up and down the center you'll see how it goes from night to day and it dims and brightens instantly oh yeah that's cool that's way cool so that is our is ERD. Is like an IR sure. sensor or something? What is that? Uh, yes, it's a light sensor. A light sensor. So it, it reads the ambient light from around you okay. and automatically adjusts the reticle so you're not blown out. Okay. And when are these two going to be available? <clears throat> um, these two are going to be available um, roughly the end of Q2, beginning of Q3. Okay. So we're looking at about six to six months or so. Okay. Um, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be rolling some of these out. Um, the other one that we have too is uh, it's behind us. This is the LPVO. So um, our owner, founder, and CEO is a precision rifle shooter, and he has been forever. So uh, he decided he was going to create a low power variable optic, and it was going to be really basic. It was going to have all the features that you needed um, that you would find in like you know a twenty-five hundred dollar or three thousand dollar like Collis or something like that. Except ours comes in at a much lower price point at thirteen fifty. So this is a first focal plane. Uh, Optic um, is a mill reticle on the inside. It is a two to twelve uh, power, and it um, it actually has an interesting way that the reticle changes on the inside. And I'll show you that now too. If you take a look at through this on two power, um, you'll see that it shoots and looks almost like a red dot. And then as you're looking through it, I'm going to go ahead and pull this throw lever um, over to the twelve power, and then you'll see the rest of your reticle and your mill adjustments, you'll see them appear. Okay. All right, see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. I've never tried anything like that. That's cool. So obviously the other features are all there for, um, this is a uh, um, 0.1 AMRAD uh, per click. Um, these are locking turrets, so you pull them up. They have really nice tactile feel to it if you want to adjust it a little bit. 
and that's so you can keep your attention on your holdover cards and everything else like that and you can actually still feel every click and okay. just make your adjustments that way and obviously full parallax and focal adjustments um, so it's just a really robust set of features and something that would normally cost you a lot for $13.50. Is this going to come in MOA as well or just MRAD? Uh, uh, this is uh, this is just going to be an MRAD. Just MRAD? Yes. Okay. Okay. And what's the price? You said $1,200? Uh, this is going to be $1,350, I believe, on this one, yes. Okay. And then the, um, the ERD-1 is going to come in at $495. We just got pricing on these today. Okay. Um, and then the ERD-2 is going to come in at $375. Okay. But other than that, the only other adjustments that we've really made, um, be on the lookout soon. We haven't really announced it yet, but um, very soon we're going to be coming out with, uh, this is our best-selling optic, the Comp. That's the one that I have. We're going to be coming out with a shroud for it. Okay. So that you can really beat the crap out of it. So um, it's going to require a plate upgrade because of the space that it's going to take up, but pretty soon that thing's going to get up armor. Okay. I also noticed that you guys are doing some direct mount optics now as well. Yes. So we also have uh, direct mounts for PDP 2.0 mount or cuts, uh, M and P 2.0 cuts, um, HKVP9. Uh, we do six hour Romeo One Pro straight okay. direct mount, and uh, we also do uh, Taurus. And there's one more that I'm missing. Oh, CZ. Okay. So CZ for your Shadow Two. Are these going to come in the different options like the Comp and the? <clears throat> Uh, other. So this is the only current version. Okay. They're all about the same relative window size, depending on the size of the pistol that they're mounted on. Um, the one consistency that's through all of these direct mount optics is that every single one of these is going to be multi reticle. Okay. So they are only going to come in a multi reticle version. Cool. Yeah, that makes them sit nice and low without having a plate on there. And the other thing about all of our, uh, it's really really nice, and you can see that on this one right here, this SIG. Whenever you remove um, your cover plate on certain pistols, yeah. like the Shadow 2 or some of these SIGs, X-Series, X um, you're gonna lose your rear sight. So what we do is we integrate a rear sight into the back of every single one of our optics so that you can still have some backup irons to co-witness uh, without having to have some kind of funky system that tries to replace your yeah. missing iron sights at that yeah. point. Cool. Well, I'm excited to try some of these out, Tony. I appreciate you taking the time talking with us. Thank you. Yeah. So that's a wrap on the SHOT Show coverage. Hopefully you guys liked it. I tried to hit a bunch of different places. There is so much to see. I don't think if I was here for two weeks, I could see everybody. But we got quite a few places, hit a few things, saw a lot of cool stuff. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.